Hello there. It's Music Man 0150, also known as Gary. And yes, I'm back with another video here at the church because I wanted to show you how you can use this CD printer as a regular printer. So I thought before I left here, I thought I'd give you a little demonstration on that. So I got the CDs all completed. And now what I'm going to do is show you how you can change over the printer from a CD printer to a regular printer. First thing we need to do is remove this tray. And as you can see, this is the big CD tray that the CDs normally go on. So we're just going to lay that right there. And here's some paper. And we put the paper in back here. And it's a little bit tricky with one hand, but ah, that wasn't too bad. Got it in. And now what we do is we have to lift up this lid a little bit. Close the front, lower the lid, and now it's a standard printer. And the other thing I'm going to do too is pull this tray out so that when the paper comes out, it's not going to fall on the floor. That should be good enough. Now I have this little memo that I wrote and all I'm going to do is come over here to the print icon. I know the flashing is terrible. I think this is print here. Yeah, print Epson style photo 1400. Okay, so we're going to click that. And now you'll see the paper come out. And there's the paper with my memo that I need to give to someone. So that's just a little demonstration there on how to use a CD printer as a regular printer. And if you have one like that, you certainly don't need a second printer unless, of course, you want to use one for final copies and then one just for draft copies. So. That just gives you a little demonstration on that. And then when we're done, we usually fold this up, fold that up, and that keeps the dust out. And that's all there is to it. And in case you're interested in seeing an overview of the layout of the little workstation, this is it right here. Down there on the bottom we have the computer, there's a couple speakers, there's even a reel-to-reel -reel tape machine because sometimes we need to convert tapes over, the, over to CDs, but with this computer we can't do that with, so I'm not sure what's going to happen with that reel-to-reel -reel unit. Then up here is the main computer screen and the duplicator. And there's the printer and some extra boxes and then on the top there's more boxes with all kinds of stuff. I don't know what's going to happen with all that either. So Anyway, that's the uh, little workstation for duplicating and printing. And um, you can almost set up something like this similar in your own home. If you're one that likes to you know print labels or even make backup copies of your own collection and it's also it's also good to do that anyway because then your original CDs stay preserved like if you keep CDs in the car it's better to actually put a copy in your car rather than the original 
because you never know what can happen with the climate change and also the um, uh, you know the, the not only the climate change but you know if if it gets dropped or something like that and then this here is just another overview of the computer stuff that we have here there's a monitor some computers there and the archives for the CDs and, and the CDs there so that just gives you a little idea on the layout that we have here so that basically ends this video and want to thank you again for watching and hope you have a great day and more videos will be coming